thanks for attending today's presentation. Today we are going to learn how to run multiple real-life campaigns in Wombat Dialer. What is Wombat Dialer? Wombat Dialer is a dialer for the Asterisk platform. It is built with a philosophy of telling Wombat what you want to be done and it will take care of the details on how to implement it. It tries to have minimal impact on your existing systems, it can uh, run different kinds of campaigns, so it can do telecasting, it can do cube-based dialing, it can do reverse dialing, it can do preview dialing. It is able to run multiple campaigns at once with different priorities and it is also built to be extremely flexible. Today we are going to see how to run two different campaigns of different kinds at once. The first campaign is a very plain campaign that does telecasting, so basically it dials out and uh, sends the same message to a large number of recipients. We will add uh, very plain rescheduled rules in order to handle cases where the person called is busy or does not answer. The more interesting scenario is the queue-based dialing, that is a fictional credit collection scenario. In this case, what we want to do is first we detect whether an agent is available in order to take the call, then we start dialing, we synthesize a personalized message to the recipient that includes information about how much is outstanding and the invoice that needs to be paid. We're going to have complex rescheduling rules because we were going to track whether the message was completely listened to or not, and we will use Q metrics in order to manage the agent's presence and to, to track the um, details of the, of the activity through Qmetrics itself. So let's get started. In five minutes we're going to have a working system. In this video we are going to show how to run multiple campaigns at once in Wombat. The, we are going to run two parallel campaigns. One is a plain telecasting campaign when you basically dial out and uh, pipe a message to the receivers uh, taking into consideration a number of things but uh, generally speaking uh, without connecting them to a physical agent and the second one is a campaign of different kind where we're going to send a personalized message like a credit recovery um, to persons and offering them the opportunity to talk to an agent and this is done by monitoring physical queue where agents uh, are so Let's see the first settings that we that we create in Wombat. First, we have to tell Wombat what to do. We created it a couple of trunks. One is a trunk called Look Back that basically has Wombat talk to itself in our case because uh, we just want to simulate a large campaign that runs uh, without doing anything else. And the other th the other is a normal trunk where you basically pipe the call as local the number at from internal. We're going to do this for simulating the campaign with the agents. Then we created a couple of uh, endpoints. The first is a queue endpoint that monitors a queue and that we will use. Notice that for a queue endpoint we have to enter here the physical name of the queue in asterisk, a capacity of the maximum number of, uh, of channels and where to jump into the dial plan where there is an available uh, agent and operator. In case instead we want to simply get the message uh, sent uh, like in telecasting in this case we simply create uh, this uh, endpoint as type uh, phone and uh, put any name, name we want here and we decide where in the Dell plan it has to jump into. Then we have to create uh, lists. In the cases uh, of lists typically what you do is uh, you create a list here and you typically do upload a CSV drag and drop a file here and uh, that contains the number and any attributes you, you want to set. Attributes are important because for example in the case of our synthesizing example for each call we do not only put the, a number that we will call for this, uh, for this call but we are going to set a number of attributes like the amount uh, of uh, the invoice that has to be paid, the number of the invoice, the data and whatever that uh, asterisk is done to synthesize when, the, when the, the number is called. Then we have to create the campaigns. A campaign, in the case of plain campaign, what we do is we simply, this, these are all the defaults, we, don't, we do not change anything here, and we basically tell it to use a specific trunk to dial out, use a, a specific endpoint that is the phone endpoint that just plays music and uh, just to see to see how a telecasting campaign works and uh, select uh, one or more lists. Notice that uh, when you have lists uh, you can decide what happens and uh, you can have multiple lists and you can also have uh, multiple black lists so you can uh, filter out the numbers dynamically as they are being called. 
and then we'll set um, a rule that on busy this is going to be recalled after 10 seconds each time uh, for uh, up to three times. In the case of the campaign that is the the one that is key driven, uh, we do something that is uh, a bit more uh, more uh, flexible. So the settings here. The only thing we changed, we didn't change the color ID or anything, but we first added logging to be compatible with the Qmetrix, so that in Qmetrix you're going to find the logs for this campaign as it's been run. Then uh, we set up uh, an email notification. This is useful because uh, sometimes we have very long running campaigns, so it is useful to get an email with the statistics of the campaign when something happens on the campaign or plainly when the campaign finishes. This is because maybe a campaign will take hours or days to complete, so typically you forget it uh, and uh, you cannot keep on monitoring it uh, constantly. The other thing that is important here is that we set up a set of rescheduled rules. So. In case of no answer, we call again up to two times. Uh, in case of a busy, we call again uh, quite immediately. Uh, more interesting is that the fact that even if this call is terminated, uh, we can track a custom status and decide whether we need to recall it immediately or not. This is because what we simulate here is basically uh, a call where we first uh, enter, and then we have a user event that says that uh, it's set status M message KO, which means that message is started but uh, it's not completed. Then we synthesize uh, messages using variables that come out of, uh, of Wombat, and uh, um, at, at this point we consider the call uh, to be completed and offer the option to move to an operator. Let's see how all this stuff works. Notice that I created this using uh, a text editor because uh, it, it's easy for me to do, but you could uh, also do this uh, as a menu, uh, like using your GUI or whatever you works best from you. From the point of, of uh, view of Wombat, it does not really care how it is, the stuff is implemented on the asterisk level. It is now time to start running the queues we just defined. Let's see what happens. First, we start with the, the campaign that is key driven. We just started it. We should be seeing in a few seconds the campaign appearing here in the active runs as soon as it's ready. It's, uh, you can see it, it's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? Because we go to the live page and we see that the queue that is being monitored has no agent, zero. So, what we do is we go to Qmetrix, but you could do it with any panel that lets you log agents in, and log on our agents. Immediately we get an answer. Hello. This is a friendly reminder from the Acme company. According to our records, you have an unpaid invoice. Please pay immediately invoice number 12. It amounts to $306 and expired on October 10th. Notice that uh, in this case uh, we can uh, have the option to move to an operator and in this case uh, we just got the call on to the operator that is through a queue. Now we are connected, we can see in Qmetrix that the call is connected. We go back to Wombat and go monitor live. We can see that this call is currently connected to an operator. It, uh, at this point, uh, what we could be doing, we want to make things a bit harder, and we can start a different campaign and run them together in parallel. From the point of view of Wombat, it does not really care. It is able to move through multiple campaigns at once and work on them uh, all together. And uh, you have an option to, to decide the priorities, the relative priorities. In this case, it's calling in the second number. The other thing that is of interest here is that first you can see all the calls that are being processed. This is our call that is the queue driven one. We can get information on a campaign that is running by clicking uh, on the details. This is just a very, very general information of what uh, went on. And you can get information on the closed runs. So you can get information about what went on, uh, the average completion rate, whatever. It's uh, to get more detailed statistics, you should be running the campaign reports. A campaign report lets you see what's going on. You can typically I uh, select the ones I don't want. Let's see, I want to see this one, for example. This still runs. We can see that the two calls for the campaign we just started to be synthesized just terminated. 
in this case we can see that we want to move, this was moved to an agent this was not moved to an agent but it, it was okay at the same time it was okay we can see the details of what went on so all the details the channels all the inform technical information and we can also if you want to run this stuff on campaigns that are physically running at the moment so as this campaign is running I expect that if I reload this information this is going to be updated you can see it was 997 calls if I reload again this is 109 if I go to live I can see now that we have only one active run that is the large campaign thanks for watching today's presentation if you liked what you saw today my suggestion is to run a test of Wombat Dialer using one of the free keys that you can get out of uh, its own website just go to www.wombatdialer.com thank you